Yeah, we should probably do another one, huh? A couple weeks ago, I made a video criticizing Hyperbloom as THE recommendation to new players trying to clear Abyss for the first time. While I did say some moderately inflammatory things in that video, the people who actually watched it all the way through would understand that I very much agree with the idea of good Hyperbloom teams being very good, and that my criticism was mostly against Hyperbloom absolutism for low investment recommendations. While I don't think it needs to be non-consensually shoved down every throat, Hyperbloom does have a convincing place on many new accounts, namely those that have pulled Shinobu early and possibly started with a Hydro or Dendro 5-star on banner. If there is one thing in the history of Genshin that is comparable to Hyperbloom in terms of how much it is worshipped as the supreme abyss cheat code for new players, then it would be the national team. For the fortunate few of you that don't know what the national team is, the term essentially encompasses all comps that center around vaporizing Xiangling's Pyronado as its primary source of damage, with the most infamous variation being this. Unlike Hyperbloom, I would argue that the national team, especially one like this, has no place whatsoever on any new account if your goal is to build two strong teams to clear the abyss as soon and as smoothly as possible. Triggered yet? Sit tight, leave a like, and subscribe, and allow me to explain. Xiangling happens to have the best 3rd and 4th constellations out of any 4-star character in Genshin Impact. Well, that's great news! Except not really, especially not for new players. You see, Xiangling is gaining roughly 60% more damage just going from C2 to C4. In other words, almost all new players are missing 60% DPS by default. At C6, you can expect Xiangling to do about 60% of the personal damage of a C0 Hu Tao or Nivellet with similar buffs, which is certainly respectable for an entirely off-field damage dealer. But don't get it twisted, Xiangling is not out-DPSing the majority of limited 5-star damage dealers ever. And pre-C4, you can expect her to do maybe slightly more damage than Ayato, and that's about it. Sorry Ayato mains, didn't mean to catch you in a stray there. And don't get me started on Sing Cho constellations. You know how some people like to bat chest his front loaded damage in national teams because you can quad vape his E skill with a sack sword? Not only is that not remotely practical, it also just isn't a thing pre C4. You're literally missing 60% of the E skill's damage. Xingqiu C6 is also very much like Sanling C4, in that you will be missing 40% of your damage without it. And this time, along with a quarter of his Hydra application, and even comes with additional energy black holing. All in all, what I'm trying to say is that your national team as a new player will be a husk of what you see from the content creators that promote it, even if you have maxed out talents and the exact same artifacts. And if you manage to clear the abyss anyway with something this substandard, that simply means you've been playing and farming for long enough to have cleared long ago with something else. Any claim that the national team, or any 4-star dominant team really, is more free to play or new player friendly than a 5-star DPS team is simply false and I would say disingenuous. Just because the game gives you a free copy of a 4-star that's dysfunctional before C4 by the way, doesn't mean very much. If anything, it baits you down this rabbit hole into using something that you don't have anywhere near the resources to build. The Abyss is a game mode with two halves and requires two built teams to efficiently clear. Let's say you do have Xiangling C4 and other relevant 4-star constellations by some miracle, or you've just been playing long enough. Building a national team should still be very far down your priority list if your goal is to clear the Abyss. Other than the fact that the team isn't that great to begin with, even with all the pieces of the puzzles gathered, it also takes up valuable supports that could have been put to much greater use on other teams. Many 5-star units that you may pull for, whether they're DPSs like Hu Tao or Alhatham, or even someone like Nahida or Nilu, all easily build teams that far outperform National, and all benefit greatly from having Xingqiu. And the same can be said about Tanli and Bennett too. They pair amazingly with units like Linny, Risley, etc. Why would you want them wasted on an expensive, mediocre team that also happens to take away Xingqiu? So what should you do instead? Go on your limited banner of choice and just pull. That is how you get both new 5-stars and 4-star constellations, and how to actually build good teams. If you don't get C4 Xiangling, just forget about her. She'll likely be more hindrance than help anyway. 
The only scenario where I'd realistically see you using a pre C4 Xiangling is with someone like Linny, because there's really not much better options. Later on, when you do have C6 Xiangling, C6 Xingqiu, C6 Bennett, C6 Sucrose, great artifacts, and a fully invested team for the other half of the Abyss that don't utilize any of the above four units, like the people that tend to promote Sucrose National tend to have, then you can enjoy bat chesting Pyronado numbers and Xingqiu quad vapes to your heart's content. Hell, I find that satisfying sometimes too, though I'd much prefer Tartalia over Xingqiu if I'm selling my soul to play Xiangling Vape already. Class, what did we learn today? Pre-C4 Xiangling objectively sucks compared to the vast majority of limited 5-star characters in the game. And that telling someone to just use National and Hyperbloom, bro, and that they shouldn't pull for a 5-star DPS is frankly terrible advice. Okay, I want to make it very clear that Xiangling is still a very good S-tier character at C4+, with proper resin investment and in the correct teams, like with Linny, like with Tartalia, etc. However, she is far from this free-to-play DPS goddess that will carry you through the abyss, even at C0, that some Venti or Bennett profile pick tried to tell you back in 2021. Not so triggered anymore, are you? Logic is a powerful tool after all. Anyway, get this video to 40k views in a week again. I need money. Love you all.